Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 43 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about doing shading correction. Initially, let's do it by applying our contrast limiting adaptive histogram equalization, the method that we learned in the previous tutorial. And uh, uh, spoiler alert, we'll see that that's not a great uh, you know, way of doing shading correction. It's, it, it works great in terms of equalizing you know, the histogram uh, for uh, contrast, you know, for giving you better contrast images, but not necessarily for removing these non-uniform illuminated images. So rolling ball background subtraction can be very much useful in that uh, for that example. So let's actually get both of these done by focusing on shading correction, uh, you know, type of application. So both of these meaning CLA HE and also applying rolling ball background correction and see how we can uh, handle this shading correction problem. Now, first of all, why do we need and what do I mean by shading correction? So if you collect your images with non-uniform illumination. You may see in this case, I'm just showing one way, right? I mean, from the left to the right, you can see how the image goes from dark to bright. And uh, it can be many ways. Uh, it can be like radially your image get progressively darker or progressively brighter. It completely depends on the illumination conditions and how centered your system is and all that. It applies to both optical or light microscopy or electron microscopy. If your beam is not centered and you're actually imaging at a very low magnification, so you can actually see these type of effects. Normally, you may not even realize it, but then if you start montaging or tiling the images, you can clearly see these effects. So it really helps to correct for this shading effect. And uh, again, too much text, but let me go through this in a methodical way. First of all, this rolling ball background subtraction that we are going to use in uh, uh, in our code today, it's popular on ImageJ. It's a very popular plugin in ImageJ. So if you want, you can go ahead and use it in ImageJ, but there is a Python version for it. Now it only works on 8-bit gray images like most of these other uh, filters. So if you have a color image, you can always separate, convert it into from RGB to lab space like I showed you in the previous tutorial and work only on the L image and combine the colors back. Or you can try applying it on R, G and B channels and then trying to merge those and see how that works out. Again, there's no right answer here because it completely depends on the type of your images. So uh, how does this actually work? Rolling ball background. Again, here is the sentence that I'll read out. Basically, imagine that you have a 2D grayscale image with a third dimension as the height. Okay. And at every point of the image, uh, uh, basically, you have a ball of given radius and you roll over it on the surface and uh, the hall of the volume reachable is the background again uh, here is the reference you can see it so in a way if you have an image again by the way it works great for particle size type of images if you have uh, little particles like this let's say you have a big sphere here or a circle here and then you keep rolling it and then average this uh, you know, background within that region and subtract it out, then the background looks somewhat like this. And when you subtract it out, it makes these, uh, these particles pop, okay? So let's use a similar example uh, to demonstrate this. So first of all, uh, the image that I'm going to use is a particle image with a uh, you know, somewhat artificially added shading to it. Okay, so this is the image we're going to use and let's see how the subtraction works out. So first approach would be by doing uh, CLA HE. Again, this is exactly what we covered in the last tutorial. So I'm not gonna explain this in detail, but at uh, a high level, I'm reading this image as color and then extracting only the L channel and applying CLA HE uh, onto this with these uh, values, clip uh, uh, limit of three and then eight by eight pixel size uh, to, to do this adaptive histogram part, okay? And then let's have a look at the output. And there you go. I mean, obviously it enhanced the contrast. It's a great output. I mean, I like this image better than the original image, but it did not do a great job in subtracting the uh, background in an adaptive way or in a, in a way that it removes the shading correction. Okay, so how can the rolling ball be any better? Well, first of all, to uh, install this rolling ball background, just do pip install opencv rolling ball. Okay, this is the Python implementation of the same image plugin that I was talking about. And again, it only works with 8-bit gray images. Once you import this CV2 rolling ball, 
okay library from there actually import subtract background rolling ball uh, function okay so from this uh, from this uh, 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 class and uh, now I'm reading the image again as uh, grayscale this time because of course if you want you can read it as color and extract this into lab and all that stuff but this is a grayscale image to begin with so I'm just importing this as IMG now I'm defining the radius of my ball as 50 here or the sphere here in this case or the you know the rolling ball as 50 now it's very important to have a look at the features that you have in your image and not remove them by background subtraction. If your radius is uh, the same size as the feature size, then uh, the uh, features will also be detected as background. Let's do that exercise actually. Uh, and uh, the way you uh, apply is subtract background rolling ball. Remember that's what we imported and apply that onto your image and uh, the other parameters that you supply here are the radius and uh, uh, whether you're applying this to light background or dark background right so in this case my background is light you saw the image which is the white background so light background equals to true you can also uh, experiment with these other parameters so uh, this is it this is all it does now after it's done its magic then uh, after the background subtraction usually the images look a bit washed out yeah so to do contrast enhancement i'm going to apply cla he after the background subtraction that's all let's go ahead and run this part of the code and look at our output and uh, here it is so let's start with the original image and after uh, sorry let me arrange this first let's look at this so it actually extracted the background okay out of this uh, original image so here is the how the background looks like and after the background subtraction here is how it actually looks like now finally after contrast limiting histogram equalization or adaptive histogram equalization this is how the final image looks like i don't think it's actually this image you know the original image is i mean it's looking great but if you look at this image right there now compare this input with this now you have a very nice uh, output image that you can work with now if you wonder why are my edges blurred and all that then you can actually play with these values let me go back and uh, look at the radius you can increase the radius so these features are not uh, affected much okay increase the radius by a lot let's actually do exactly the opposite let's actually do decrease the radius to five and then see how our background looks like in fact let's decrease the radius to three and pixels and see how the background looks like so let's run these lines And there you go here is how our, our background image as you can see it's picking up a lot of these particles as background and when you subtract that the output image looks very weird because you're subtracting real signal this is why you need to be a bit careful when it comes to rolling ball it has to be much larger than the feature itself that than the largest feature itself uh, for it to actually do a good job please go ahead and try this on your images hopefully you have uh, great imaging conditions so you don't see this to begin with but if you do go ahead and try this rolling ball background it actually works very well uh, for shading correction there are much advanced shading correction algorithms for example if you have Zen software from Zeiss you know then you have uh, uh, an option to do these type of corrections in there they work much uh, uh, very well but uh, rolling ball it doesn't it doesn't do a bad job as you can see it's available in image j and if you're already used to using it then here is how you can do it in python so thank you very much and let's cover a different topic in the next tutorial until then please subscribe to this channel